Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 14 on file handling. In Python, we can open any text file with the open function. The open function has the file name argument and an optional mode argument. Now, the modes can be one of the following values. If the mode is not given, the file will be read. If the mode is R, the file will be read. If the mode is A, we can write to the end of the file. That is, the file will be appended. If the mode is R+, we can both read as well as write to the file. If the mode is W, the file will be written. If an existing file is opened with the W mode, it will be erased. So we need to be careful. Now let us see the file methods first. Then we will see these methods in action in Python. The first method is the file.read and we can specify n bytes. This method reads n bytes of the file. Say 1000 bytes or 1 byte or any number of bytes. File.read read reads the entire file to memory. File.read read line reads one line from the file. File.read read lines reads all the lines from the file into a list. I've already explained lists in Python. You can see tutorial 12 and 13 that explain Python lists. File.write writes the string to the file. This method returns the number of characters it has written. File.close closes the connection to the file and frees any system resources used by the file connection. Now let us see these file methods in action in Python. I already have a script and I'm going to open files using the open function with different modes. So the first line opens the file and we have not given the mode. So the file will be opened in the read mode. Then here we have the read function and it is going to read one byte because that is the number of bytes that we have given and finally the close function is going to close the connection to the file so let us see which file it's going to operate on so here we have the file and it's in the same folder as our module and it has just three lines with A, B and C written on it. I'm going to run this script now. And here we can see that since we gave f dot read one, it has read one byte from the file. Now let us open the file in the R mode and it's the same file but this time instead of read with a specific number of bytes we have given f dot read so this will read the entire file to memory and it the print function was will print that I'm running this script now and it has read the entire file and we can see that it has printed all the contents of the file. Next, I'm going to open the file in the A mode. So A mode is for append. So the file will be opened in the append mode. Then the write function writes some text to the file. Now in order to print some text to the file, on a next line, we can give the new line character. So basically it takes the insertion point to the beginning of the next line and then there will be the text 
some appended text written to the file and then it closes the file so let me run this and it has run the module and now if we see the file contains some appended text now let us see the read lines function now here the file is opened without giving the mode so it will be open in the read mode then we are using the f dot read lines method so this basically reads all the lines from the file into a list the list is called lines and we are using a for loop for any variable line in lines print the line and in the print function we can specify the end argument so basically we don't want a blank line to be printed after the print but we want the next print to happen on the same line this is because the lines in the file are already on different lines if we don't give this there will be a blank line between the different lines so let me run this and here we can see it has taken all the lines from the file and printed it now i'm going to open the file in the r plus mode so this opens the file in both read as well as the write mode so we can write to the file and we can read the file also so there is a print function call it says before write f dot read reads the entire file to memory then after reading it we use the write file method and write to the file text written in the r plus mode now once the text is written there is a internal file pointer to the file that moves to after the text but we can use the file seek method and we can give f dot seek 0 0 means go to the beginning of the file then it prints after write and we print f dot read so basically print the entire file so this is the r plus mode first we are going to write text written in r plus mode and then read the file and print it so let me run this script so here we can see that before write it had four lines it had a b and c and some appended text and then after write we had five lines a b c some appended text and text written in the r plus mode we can go to the file and actually see the contents and here we can see it actually has five lines now let us go back and see how we can open the file in the w mode now this time i am going to open a file in the w mode so this file2.txt already exists now whenever an existing file is opened in the w mode it will be erased so we have some sample text given in this file2.txt then we call the write file method and it is going to write this is line 1 this is line 2 this is the rest of the file this is the last line of the file and close the connection so let me run this script now and the script is run now we can go and see what is there in the file in file2.txt earlier sample text was written but that file was erased and it has written this is line 1 this is line 2 this is the rest of the file and this is the last line of the file 
whatever right methods we called now let us see the read line so here we have file is equal to open file2.txt we have not given the mode so it will be open in the read mode and then we are going to use the read line file method basically it will read one line from the file and there are a couple of calls so it is going to read a couple of lines and print them let me run it so it says this is line 1 and this is line 2 which we just saw from file2.txt thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial